This video is the second in our series of onboarding videos designed to help you understand all aspects of the Qualaroo product. In this video, we'll cover the survey editor. To create a new survey, click on the green Create New Survey button in the upper right-hand corner of your dashboard. Depending on your plan, you'll either see the option to simply create a new survey along with access to the survey library, or you'll see more options, which could include the ability to create mobile surveys, lead generation forms, NPS surveys, and overlays. If you don't have access to these additional options but would like to, please contact our sales team. For this video, we're going to focus on the standard survey option. Standard surveys are composed of two elements, question screens and message screens. You can have as many question screens as you want, but depending on your plan, it's possible you're only allowed one message screen. Before you begin, you'll want to give your survey a name. We recommend naming it with your goal, where you plan to show the survey on your site, and if using an iteration method, the number of the iteration you're on. Screens can be added from the Add Screen option. If you'd like to remove some screens that aren't needed, you'll first want to make sure none of the other screens branch to it. Once that's done, mouse over the screen you'd like to remove, then click on the X in the upper right-hand corner. To edit the content of each screen, click within the screen, and you'll see the editor refreshes to give you the editing options for that screen. We also give you the ability to select which screen you want people to see first with the radio buttons above each screen. Keep in mind that you can only select question screens as the start step. Question screens have two main components, the question that you're presenting to your site visitors, and how they can answer that question, which is controlled with the answer options. The message screen displays the message your survey takers will see when they finish taking your survey. And depending on your plan, allow for several different options, such as longer messages and displaying a call to action button. Let's first focus on the question screen. The area for question text is very straightforward. Type in the question you want your visitors to respond to in this area. If you're not sure what to ask, we have an excellent resource in our Help Center to pull from. We also give you the option to have a description for your question. This area has some more options, such as the ability to place it before or after the question. In this area, we also allow you to add Markdown, which gives you the ability to stylize text, add links, and even images to your question. We'll go into that in a bit more detail later on. Next to that is the required checkbox. This option applies to any write-ins allowed in your answers. Generally, if you select the text-based answer type, it's recommended to select this option as well, as it prevents the survey taker from advancing to the next screen without writing a response. Speaking of answer types, let's look over all of the options. You'll notice there are six different answer types. Multiple answer, single answer, text-based, text-based single line, date, and net promoter score. Let's start with the multiple answer type. The multiple answer selection option should be used when, in most cases, your survey takers will want to select two or more of the answer options available. As you can see from the question and answer options, it makes the most sense to use this answer type for this use case. It allows the survey taker to select as many options as they want before they click on the Send button. If you would like to encourage people to select a specific amount, like three out of the five answers shown, we recommend mentioning that in the question itself. The single answer selection option should be used when there's only one appropriate answer the survey taker can give to the question that you're asking, as illustrated in this example. If you don't allow for any write-ins, the survey taker will advance to the next step as soon as they click on their response. That brings me to the ability to allow for write-ins on both the multiple and single answer types. Next to each answer option, you'll notice there's a drop-down to allow for a write-in. Generally, if the question and answer combination may be missing some of the options your survey takers may want to select, it's a good idea to have an other option that allows for a write-in response. I've mentioned a few times about the next step a survey taker sees when they've selected their answer. This is called branching, or skip logic, and the single answer option is the best type to make use of this feature. You'll notice under each individual answer, there's a drop-down next to If Selected, Continue To. The drop-down shows all current screens, plus the ability to add a new step. This is a fantastic opportunity to give survey takers different experiences depending on how they respond to your question. We also give you the ability to randomize answers for both the multiple and single answer types in order to help prevent the survey taker from defaulting to just the first few answers. Now that we've covered both the multiple and single answer selection types, let's move on to text-based answer types. These answer options give you the ability to let the survey taker tell you, in their own words, the answer to your question. 
There are two write-in options, double line and single line. For both answer options, we strongly encourage you to use the required checkbox, as discussed earlier in this video. The option to set up skip logic is directly below where you set the answer type. You'll also notice that we give you the option to change the text for the send button. You could change it to say next, or if you're putting together a survey that's in another language, you can localize the button to that language. If your survey has several questions, it's considered a best practice to include which question they're on within this area. The next answer option allows the survey taker to pick a date from the dropdown. The last answer type is our Net Promoter Score, or NPS option. The standard question used along with this answer type is how likely are you to recommend our product to a friend, but we don't limit you to asking the traditional NPS question. Since we give you the ability to change the wording on the scale, you could ask how helpful was this page, and change the score labels to very helpful and not helpful. Skip logic is available on the NPS answer type, but only at the professional plan level and up. Now that we've covered everything you can do with the question screen, let's move on to the message screen. Our small business plan allows you to write thank you in the language you used for your survey and display or hide the success icon. If you're on the professional plan or above, there's quite a bit more that you can do. For instance, we don't limit you to the amount of characters you can use. Since we also support Markdown, that gives you a considerable amount of freedom in how you can present the message you'd like your survey takers to see. Bold and italicized text, introduce line breaks and bulleted lists. We even allow you to create hyperlinks using the simple commands of the Markdown language. As mentioned earlier, Markdown can also be added to the description area for question screens. This can be invaluable if you want to create custom message screens to optimize the experience of survey takers depending on how they've responded to your survey. For instance, if you've asked an NPS question, you may want to show those who gave you a low score a simple thank you for your feedback message. But if someone gave you a favorable score, you may want to consider a special message for them along with a call to action to like your company's page on Facebook. And yes, our professional enterprise subscribers have the added bonus of including a call to action button on your message screens entice people to follow you on Twitter, like your page on Facebook, or create a custom option that can redirect them anywhere you like. We do have a few other options available, such as email collector and call to action overlays, as well as additional unit options available within the survey editor. Videos for each of these options can be found within our Help Center. You can also contact our sales team directly if you'd like a personalized demo. That's it for understanding the survey editor. Up next, targeting your survey.